after the press release, General Ramey was already speaking on the phone to reporters in the Pentagon press room and saying it looked like a weather balloon to him and a radar target. And that is, in fact, what is pictured here. So they uh, brought in the photographer from the Fort Worth Star-Telegram. He took six photos. Four of the photos have General Ramey, and he's holding this message in his hand. And uh, fortunately for us, it, the, uh, the image is of sufficient quality that we can read quite a bit of the message. And it tells, I think, a very remarkable story. Because Ramey's trying to sell a weather balloon story to the press, it's not his lunch order, it's not his laundry list, it's not Mrs. Ramey telling him to bring groceries home. All right. The American Broadcasting Company and affiliated stations present Headline Edition with Taylor Grant. Today's edition presents a roundup of the latest developments in the finding of a flying disc. So suggested that the widely publicized mystery of the flying saucers may soon be solved. Army Air Force officers reported that one of the strange discs had been found and inspected sometime last week. Our correspondents in Los Angeles and Chicago have been in contact with Army officials endeavoring to obtain all possible late information. Joe Wilson reports to us now from Chicago. The Army may be getting to the bottom of all this talk about the so-called flying saucer. As a matter of fact, the 509th Atomic Bomb Group headquarters at Brigadier General Roger Ramey says that it is being shipped by air to the AAF Research Center at Wright Field, Ohio. A few moments ago, I talked to officials at Wright Field, and they declared that they expect the so-called flying saucer to be delivered there 